What's up guys? It's John from Bottled Fuchsia and I am here today to show you a little bit of Chronology, a game I picked up this past week, played a little bit of, and I thought it was pretty cool. So let's check it out. The general idea of the game is that you are the inventor, the old inventor, with your friend Snail, who is a snail, who has the ability to freeze time. The inventor can also jump back and forth between the current ruined world and the old world when everything was fine. Let's hop back to chapter one and get a feel for this. This is the uh, first game out of Osa Games, indie team out of Denmark. The game was in development by Progressive Media, but studio closed. Uh, a lot of the guys who were working on it decided they wanted to keep working on it and formed Osa Games. And now we have Chronology. It was built on the vapor, dispensing from the underground. It powered every machine. And the cutscenes are not skippable. So there's that. But in our desire for progress, we abused its power. I was there when the world. The game plays like a platformer. Mixed with uh, some puzzles. Not a lot of enemies from what I had seen. I believe I got up to chapter four out of eight, and I didn't play it that long. I'm not sure if the chapters get longer or if perhaps I in the menu I just couldn't see any of the future chapters. The game does have quite a bit of loading, but that's probably because it looks really good. Here we go. So here we are. We're the old inventor. I wake up in a daze. And we wake up in a daze. Lying here. I try, but don't remember anything. I can't remember anything. I where I am. So this is what we got so far. Beginning of the game. We can run. We can jump. Everything here is familiar, and yet so changed so All right. aged so here's a mechanic jump on this leaf jump over here and away we go whoa, whoa. yep what is this place avoid the sandworm of dune keep on going this forest is really giving me the rough side of this <laughs> there's some clever writing in this game Sounds like a clock running oh, backwards. Add another mechanic. You can pick up boxes, move them, complete puzzles. Here we go. And this is where the game becomes a lot more interesting. I wonder if it works. We now have the mechanic to go to before. The before world. My time is unraveling around me. Anytime we press B. We can jump forward and use this ability to navigate the world. Whoa. Okay. Right, so we want to wait for this to come down. There we go. I have a tendency to hop back and forth between the worlds probably far more often than I have to. It seems like there's a lot of areas that doesn't really matter which side you're in. Do that. Open up the gate. Now we go in the after. And the gate broke when it was still up. Oh, there we go. It's such a simple little mechanic. Whoa, whoa. The game's pretty forgiving. Not very mean in the way of taking you back or giving you lives. All these muddled memories unstuck in time. <laughs> My head needs I need a rest too, buddy. Things 
things started coming back to me. My childhood, the monastery, mm -hmm. my mentor, teaching me about the mystical practices of alchemy and the physical laws of science. So that's what we have going on here. A mix of alchemy and science, Later, it would appear. Seemingly endless experimentations to enchant the vapor to create a new energy source. Then finally, breaking the code and entering a brand new field of awareness. Mm-hmm. I wish I could break into a new field of awareness. And we go back to the loading game. Oh, it's pretty quick this time. Up ahead, there's some sort of outpost. Maybe I can find some humans around here. So we want to hop. Oh, we can't do that. So what we can do, hop back to the past, move the tree. Because, whoa, we can also take the tree with us. Here we go. Oh, oh man! Gotta go down and fix Comfort. that. Ah. Poor workmanship. <laughs> Poor workmanship, indeed. All right. So let's try and move the tree right here. Let's repair. My hands. They remember this. They are used to the machinery. Yeah. So my inventor apparently appears to have amnesia of sorts. Remembering little bits at a time. Now let's try and turn this on again. This looks more successful than it was last time. More crates. There is a time and a place for everything. <laughs> Yeah, more crates. Sure. Okay. Okay. So what we want to do, we're going to need some more height here. Jump up here. As we jump, change worlds. Got some platforms in the before. Yeah, there was nothing there. That was that was the way to do it. Repairing machinery like this in my wagon. My wagon. Where could it be? Uh, let's see what Mr. Mustache has to say. Whoa. Excuse me. I have to pass the bridge. The metropolis is in a state of emergency. None shall pass. Hmm. We'll see about that. None shall pass, you say. I pick up this anvil. Oh, gonna be a jerk. Oh, actually, there we go. Oh, and now he's coughing. Forever coughing. We wouldn't want to move away from that. Works for me. See you, guy. In the ground. I wonder if it's where my, my wagon, wagon is. In this direction. Let's go find my wagon. The way that this game blends the platforming with the time switching, it makes it makes it quite fun. The not a whole lot of skill involved. Uh, only had to do that one jump that involved switching the world while I was in midair. I don't feel like there was a lot of that. There's just a lot more puzzle solving while jumping back and forth, we trying to figure out where to leave items. In the past, in the before, rather, so that it will impact the after. I don't like the way that guy's broken his pointy beard. 
capable of producing miracles, but also forceful enough to create calamity in the wrong hands. We decided never to touch it. <laughs> Good thing he created it, though. Oh man. And we're back, finally. Yeah, see, we're we're in chapter three already. I really w want to play more of this game, but it moves so quickly. Let's jump to the after here. Oh, okay. So, jump and switch. I don't know if these enemies can hurt me or impact me in any way. I don't not able to get to them. Oh, that poor thirsty guy. He looks like he's about to kick the bucket. Uh, a bucket. I see what you did there. Okay. Oh, he does kick the bucket. Let's try and save him. So, let's jump and switch. And jump and switch. Seem to be pulling up that mechanic a lot, at least initially here. Save this little guy in the before. I would say little, he's pretty big. <laughs> oh, he's certainly bigger. And he. Okay. So this tilts him to the right. No fires. Some sort of nut. Alright. Pick this up. No, nothing to do here other than jump up. Why the long face, snail? Ah, here's snail. The snail creature is completely in pieces. She looks like she has lost her shell. I'm going to assume that this is her shell, mainly because I know it is. Whoa. Oh, yep, yep, want to pick that up, bring it with me, and then, there we go, so we needed that in the before, <laughs> hey, uh, now, snail here to extend this for us. Stick there we go. Snail. Hey, wait, don't leave me. Call me. Okay. <laughs> you can always whistle and I'll come running. Maybe you could reach that button for me. Uh, let's go hit the button. It has a brothers-esque feel to it. Or controlling two pick me, pick me. I have something cool to show characters you. at the same time. And this is Snail's ability. Time, so we want to wait. Yep. I was engineered that way. Keep that right in the middle. And I need to be less bad at platforming. Yep. Yeah. Send me in there over here. Here, yeah, boy. Here, yeah, boy. Thought Snail was a girl. Get over here. How do I get up there? Uh, I know how we get up here. Then let's bring hey. Snail up. Switch over to Snail. Oop. Ah. Okay. Snail, maybe better. Snail. Ah, okay, okay. I got it. Uh, 
Okay. Whoops. This is about as good as we're gonna get over here, maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there we go. Bring snail back. Whoa. <laughs> I will say I uh, sometimes lose track of which one I'm controlling, even though there is a giant arrow telling me such. Jump. Make our way over here. And my wagon's broken. That scrap pile is your wagon? It was, Snail. Shut up, Snail. Yeah, shut up, Snail. Let's just get a move on. I need someone who can give me some answers. Well, that's going to do it for a quick look here at Chronology. Uh, as I said, game released May 12th, so it's out there on the Steam store. Currently on sale for $7.99. Uh, that sale is only going on for the next day. So you can catch it for $9.99 or try and grab it during a Steam sale. I'm a big fan of the platforming, the puzzles, task. the world design, my bag, and art style. I think it's excellent. In his own lab in the a lot of fun to play. I look forward to playing more. And you should check it out if you I knew like the what you saw here. Could be fatal. This is John from Bottle Future. Thanks, guys. I became a drifter.